sorry I'm going to have to ignore you because I feel that this video is going to be removed. But uh, since it's a crappy video anyway, to me, uh, what you what you hear is uh, more important anyway. And so I'll be focusing on this camera. This will be my this will be the camera that I will be paying attention to. Uh, that way I can make copies of it and uh, put it like on live link and stuff like that. Uh, you know, th the thing you know, the thing that's weird is <laughs> live link is where I get all the attention. On YouTube, you can look at my videos. I hardly get any views. It's bizarre. I, I think YouTube has a block on me, you know? I really do. I but on Live Leak, man, I get thousands of views. It's just amazing. It's amazing. So I'm gonna use this for a live leak here. So hello there, Live Leak. Okay. Yeah, it's 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 just amazing. I get tons of views on Live Leak and here nothing. This uh, one one video <laughs> one video I made here called uh, was it uh, before I if ISIS was gonna saw my head off you know another one I made called uh, Operation Monster Zero uh, it only got like say like I don't know just less than ten views and on lively twelve thousand you know, five thousand. Yeah, yeah. For monster, for Operation Monster Zero, almost uh, six thousand. You know, just in four days. So it's amazing. They they really like uh, on Live Leak. They really like uh, videos that expose Islam. Here, there's a block on me. You know, yeah. Well, hey, if that's what it's going to be, that's what it's going to be. I, you know, I, I leave it all to God anyway. Anyway, uh, what I'm about to read to you is it's uh, uh, it's it, it's uh, a Muslim's take on Sunan Abu Dawud 22150. Uh, what happens is uh, in um, Sunan Abu Dawud 22150, it it talks about how it allows Muslims to rape women in the presence of their husbands who are unbelievers. And this Muslim is going to try to uh, refute it. And so what happens is I'm going to read his words using this side of my face. And uh, plus I'll do a mock Arabic accent. And when you use my words, I'll be using this side of my face. Yeah. So anyway, it's on the net if you want to see it without my interest. If you want to see this Muslim's uh, try to uh, refute uh, and say it's a mistranslation of Sun Abu Dawud 2.20.50, uh, you can go on the internet. You know, don't see my interjections here. You can just see his words. You know, yeah. So this is it. If you want to look at, if you want to look at this Muslim's thing, it's called the mistranslation of the Hadith in Sunan Abu Dawud 2250. Okay, here it goes. Here. In recent years, there has been a lot of questioning around Hadith found in Sunan Abu Dawud 2150 or Sunan Abu Dawud 2155 regarding its content. I can imagine. The issue has stemmed around a translation of the Hadith collection, which has become popular. Yeah, popular <laughs> with uh, people like me. Found on many sites, including Sunnah.com. <laughs> yeah, well, Sunnah.com, I want to tell you, Sunnah.com is the only Sunni Muslim site that hasn't uh, 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 deleted it. On the others, they deleted that, and so you see it missing. I wonder why. I wonder why. But I made videos of it because I thought, well, soon a dot com will do the same thing. So I made videos of it, and I did it again right now. Okay, I'll continue here. So I'll read that again. The issue is has stemmed around a translation of the Hadith collection, which has become popular, found on many sites, including Sunnah dot com. You think the Arabic. And the common translation of a hadith is the following, and here it is. So, sorry, see, you know, you can't see this. So 
so I have to use this camera anyway. So, and here's another one. That's the Arabic. So if someone is truthful and reads this Arabic, they'll see what I mean here. Okay. It 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 reads as follows. Abu Sa'id al Qutr said, the Apostle of Allah sent a military expedition to Atis on the occasion of the Battle of Hunain. They met the enemy and fought with them. They defeated them and took them captives. Some of the companions of Apostle of Allah were reluctant, reluctant to have intercourse with the female captives in the presence of their husbands who are unbelievers. So Allah the Exalted sent down the Quranic verse and all married women are forbidden unto your save those captives whom your right hands possess. This is to say they are lawful for them when they complete their waiting period. And that's a mistranslation. The issue stems from stems around the following section of the Hadith. Quote, Some of the companions of Apollo of us Allah were reluctant to have intercourse with the female captives in the presence of their husbands who were unbelievers. So Allah exalted since down the Quranic verse. Well, I should say so. Many people instantly object, say it ain't so. Stated, how could people have sex with captives of war within the presence of husband? <laughs> Shocking that they would ask such a thing, right? <laughs> Especially when it's supposed to be from a, a, a godly religion, you know, since Islam's supposed to be godly and, you know, good. Many people instantly object. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah. And, and rightly so. Oh, okay. The confusion around this hadith has led to a whole range of articles being written. And my in a lot of my videos, too. Many putting forth a narrative that Islam permits rape. <laughs> well, with ISIS and Boko Haram acting the way they are, well, I'd say so. It seems like they're going by the book. Uh, Quran 424 with Sunan Abu Dawud in mind. Something completely false. If so, how come it's in Sunan Abu Dawud, even posted on a Sunni Muslim website like uh, Sunnah.com? But the confusion is easily resolved when we return back to the Arabic text of the Hadith in question. The section that has been translated above is the following, and here's the Arabic. Yeah. The Arabic text above contains no reference to in the presence of. Well, how did it end up being that in so many translations of Dawid's 2, 2150? The words are simply not the present. Well, again, how did it end up being that in so many translations of Dawid's 2, 2150, not just Sunan.com? In fact, this hadith with the same word has been recorded in Sahih Muslim. Let's take a look at the popular translation of this hadith. So here's the Arabic. And what I eventually do is I get down, I observe them. And he's going to try to say the Arabic is the same as the Arabic in Sunan Abu Dawud. Guess what? I found, I put a, a check, a mark, where I find out it's actually not the same. So, well, I'll, re I'll continue here. Well, again, how did it end up being that way in so many translations of Dawud, C250? And then, uh, this is what he reads, okay, yeah. Uh, Abu uh, Sa'id al Qutri, Allah, her pleased with him, reported that at the Battle of Hunayn, Allah's Messenger sent an army to Atas and, recount, and encountered the enemy and fought with them. Having overcome them and taken them captives, the companions of Allah's Messenger, Papa, seemed to refrain from having intercourse with captive women because their husbands being polytheists. Uh, that is, they were, uh, the, yeah, i.e. verse 24, uh, that is, they were lawful for them when their Ida period came to an end. Notice, notice here, the same wording of the section in question with the translation being, well again, how did it end up being in the, in, uh, in the presence of their husbands who are unbelievers and so many translations of Dawah 2, 2, 50. That is the Arabic. Well, again, how did it end up being? In the presence of their husbands, <laughs> it's so many translations of Dawah 2, 20, and 50. 
The companions of Allah's Messenger Papa seem to refrain from having intercourse with captives, women because of their husbands being polytheists. Then Allah the Most High sends down regarding that. Well again, how did it end up being in the presence of their husbands who are unbelievers in so many translations of Daba 2250? We can con we can instantly say that there are that there has been a mistake in the translation of the Hadith and Sunan Abu Dawud. <laughs> so, again, how did it end up being that in so many translations of Dawud 250? Did the evil Jews go in there and uh, pay the Muslim to write it that way? You know, this is further emphasized by the translation of Abu uh, Sunan Abu Dawud by Yasser Qadri and published by Darasalam. It reads quite. Abu Sa'id al Qudri narrated that the Messenger of Allah sent an expedition to Atis on the day of Unain. Not Unain, but Unain. And they met their enemy, fought them, and won the battle. They captured some slaves. But some of the companions of Messenger of Allah felt com uncomfortable in having relations with them because of their pagan husbands. At this, Allah read of Qudri. And just free women except for those whom your right hands possess, meaning that they are allowed for you after being a waiting period have finished. Well, that sounds sweet. But Quran 424 says you can have sex with married women if they are in your quote, right if they are your right hand possessed slave. To sum the so sum up, the translation of Sunan Abu Dawud Hadith contains a great mistake. Not when you consider Quran 424 that says you can have sex with married women if they are your right hand possessed slaves. The Arabic text doesn't contain the uh, words in presence of. If so, well again, how did it end up being that in so many translations of Dawud 2250? And what of Quran 424 that says you can have sex with married women if they are your right hand possessed slaves? He amended slaves right here, you know. This is further shown by the translation of Sahih Muslim, which contains a hadith with the same wording, and the translation of Sunan Abu Dawud provided in Da'arusa. Da I'll put the Arabic of Muslim and Dawud from Sunan.com into Google Translate and see if that is so. I hope websites like www.sunan.com, wiki, wiki Islam, oh shoot. I ran out of bad power. <laughs> okay, well, this will be part one, okay? And I'll call this part one, too. All right. Bye.